Hello everyone and welcome back to the PML Draft League, uh, YouTube Draft League. We're coming into uh, week six. We have a couple wins under our belt, but uh, score is not looking impressive. Uh, if I can manage to win the next two matches, uh, the last two matches, then maybe I stand a chance at playoffs. I'm not sure I haven't ran the numbers yet, um, but I kind of joined late anyway. Um, you know, kind of had to pick some uh, random mons uh, to, to try to compensate. And um, yeah, so overall it's been fun though. I've been trying out some new mons that I'm not used to. Um, gonna use a couple of those today against uh, my opponent, Danny. Um, he is getting his stuff ready now. So uh, we'll just kind of go over his team while we're waiting. Uh, so his T1 is Garchomp. Um, Definitely fierce. Uh, worried about that a little bit. Uh, it's a, a heavy hitter. It's very fast. Um, he actually has an, a number of fast mons on his team and then a combination of uh, slow mons as well. So that way he can, I don't know, he's just, he's pretty well balanced. So uh, Garchomp, uh, obviously a base speed of 102. It's going to be very quick, 130 physical attack. Uh, his T2s are Ferrothorn, so obviously very defensive, and Gengar. So he's got the physical attack with Garchomp, the special attack with Gengar. Both of them have great speed. Um, worried about both. Uh, another one of his slower, stronger mons is Rhyperior. Um, I don't know if he has potential to do like a Trick Room strategy with his team or not. He's also got Surfetched, so uh, he's got some slower mons that he can utilize for that if he wants. Um, this is the first opponent that I haven't gone through and watched all of his videos, so I haven't really broken down his team and done an analysis like I do normally, so um, I might not be able to predict my opponent as, uh, as well as I have in the past. Um, so uh, after Rhyperior's Talonflame, um, so another fast mon, um, probably gonna wear boots. Uh, so we're not gonna bother with uh, Stealth Rocks. Uh, I don't think if I get uh, just kind of a nice spot to put them up, I guess I will, uh, but I doubt it. Uh, he's got Clefairy, just plain Clefairy. I honestly, I don't know what people use just regular Clefairy for in a draft like this. I don't know if it's, you know, you, you focus sash it, you trick room. I don't know if it gets trick room or or what. Um, what do you possibly use it for? But I imagine whatever he uses it for, it gets sacked, right? Because, I mean, it's not like it's going to live two hits. Um, Toxtricity uh, is his next one. So uh, that one is uh, not as fast as I, as I thought it was. It's got a base speed of 75. Um, its special attack is 114. I think its physical attack is not too far beneath that. So if it wanted, it could do either. Um, Surfetch, I mentioned, um, 135 physical attack, 65 speed, so slower. Um, I really, I'm honestly worried about his fast ones. I say that, and then I'll probably be defeated by his slow ones. But we'll, uh, I guess we'll just see. Um, Alolan Persian uh, is is one of his last mons. Um, again, 115 speed, um, you know, Talonflame 126, Gengar 110, Garchomp 102. Um, so he's he's got some, some fast mons. A lot of those have really high attack stats. Um, so I guess I'll just have to hope that I don't get swept by his faster, stronger mons. Um, I don't know if he's going to maybe try to Dragon Dance with Garchomp uh, and then just wreak havoc. Um, honestly, I normally bring Mantine for situations like that so I can, you know, do Haze or whatever. Um, I'm not bringing Mantine this time. So if he gets the opportunity to set up, um, that's going to be a real struggle for me. Um, hopefully I don't give him too many opportunities to do so. Uh, his last mon is Kangaskhan. Uh, so Surfetched and Kangaskhan both get Scrappy, so uh, I am bringing Dubblade, but that doesn't mean that he'll be immune to their attacks. Um, I learned that Surfetched gets Scrappy in a battle against Stuart uh, of the typical uh, New Zealand Kings is 
typically what his team name is. This is the Nitto Kings, so they share a Pokemon as their mascot. So maybe that's Ill Fortune. Um, I guess we'll just see. Um, Kangaskhan, uh, you know, he can he can fake out. Um, I think I saw him use Toxic. I saw him use Wish because I did watch one video of his, but I was kind of half paying attention as I was uh, building up my team. So um, Toxtricity is, is uh, the lead that he went with. He pulls switches out. Um, that'd be totally fine. Um, my intention is to lead with Vicavolt and um, try to get the uh, the sticky web up. That way I can maybe hinder his faster mons a little bit. Um, hoping that he doesn't bring anything to boost his speed. He's probably bringing things to boost attack. Um, he might bring rapid spin on a mon. Uh, probably Ferrothorn. Uh, if that's the case, so be it. You know, he gets rid of my um, my sticky web, but we'll just do the best that we can and uh, try to have fun. Uh, I'm, of course, always trying to win and get into playoffs and, and all that, but uh, with this league, I'm taking it a little less seriously uh, since I jumped in and uh, you know late and didn't get to draft the mons that I would normally draft, although I do have quite a few of uh, my old faves. Uh, Dublade, of course. Uh, Crocodile, I've used before. Uh, Mantine. Uh, Lapras, uh, Rapidash, uh, Galarian, um, all Mons I've used before. Arcanine and Dublade, uh, both straight from my, my fantasy team, like if I could only have six. Um, so I got to draft both of those for this, so that's kind of exciting. Um, this match, uh, we are bringing Halucha. Uh, with the white herb, so try to get that uh, close combat off and then trigger the unburden. Um, Vicavolt with the focus sash, want to try to get those uh, that sticky web up. Uh, hopefully he doesn't get faked out because um, then his sash is trash. Um, Rapidash with the life orb. Uh, Rapidash being one of my faster mons, I wanted to add some extra power uh, so that way I can maybe contend with his faster mons. Um, if I if I can go before them, uh, Rapidash can't take much of a hit, but I'm hoping with the Life Orb I can one hit kill one or two of his mons if I get lucky. Uh, Crocodile. Uh, normally you'll see me bring my beat up Crocodile with the King's Rock. Uh, not bringing it this time. Uh, threw a weakness policy on here. Uh, weakness policy was just kind of a a thing. Uh, I thought you know that might be fun. Maybe you know he'll survive a hit and he'll get powered up. He's relatively fast. I think if I can get the sticky web up, he'll probably outspeed a fair amount of my opponent's Pokemon. Um, the reason I'm not bringing the typical Crocodile that I do uh, is because he's got Crocodile, or excuse me, he's got um, Garchomp who has rough skin. So if I'm if I hit him six times with beat up, uh, that's a lot of pain coming back at me. He's got uh, Ferrothorn. So obviously the iron barbs, a lot of times people stack the uh, the rocky helmet on with the iron barbs. Um, and that's one beat up. Uh, one turn of me using beat up is going to kill me. <laughs> um, and I'm uh, afraid of trying to do the beat up strategy and then having him switch in either of those mons and then just have me hurt myself. Um, so I thought the, the smart thing to do this time was to leave beat up uh, behind. Uh, bring the weakness policy, see if we can just get some extra power potentially, because I think that's where I'm going to need it. You know, the speed and the power, uh, obviously it's what you always want, right? But uh, I, hopefully I can survive a hit uh, from from something and maybe even uh, try to bait in an attack and then Dynamax uh, to survive the hit, uh, hopefully, and then let the weakness policy do its thing. Um, I'm bringing Dublade uh, just because, you know, he's the team mascot. Uh, he's sturdy, uh, not the ability. He's just can take hits. Um, I'm bringing the Alolan Sand Slash. Now, I normally would bring Rapid Spin on Alolan, Alolan, Slan Alolan, Alolan Sand Slash. There we go. Um, but I'm not this time. Um, reason being that uh, looking at his team... Uh, if he puts down like toxic spikes or something, um, I've got 
a flyer, a levitator, uh, a Pokemon that can't be poisoned, a steel type and a steel type, and then one mon that that would affect, right? So not worried about toxic spikes. If he puts down stealth rocks, like, yeah, that could hurt me. I've got uh, a flyer, a bug, um, that would do some damage. And of course, chip damage always sucks. Um, but uh, I'm not too worried about him putting down any kind of traps. Um, so I'm, I'm leaving the rapid spin behind this time. Um, I actually went with Earthquake. He's got uh, four weaknesses on his team to ground. Uh, with the Choice Scarf, I figure uh, if I can get an Earthquake in, um, maybe be able to take out a, a Mon that's um, giving me trouble. That'll be super useful. Um, uh, excuse me, he has three Pokemon on his team with ground weakness. Uh, four with fighting. So I tried to bring some fighting moves. Um, so here you see I've got the White Herb, Focus Ash, Life Orb, Weakness Policy, Eevee Light, Choice Scarf. I like to mix up the items on my Mons just to not be predictable. Um, but for this time, I'm going with some of the classics. Um, let's see. So on my Halucha, um, we've got the Sword Stance in case he... Um, I'm going to try to, if I can, um, get Halucha switched in on the Ferrothorn and get a free Sword Stance, hopefully. Um, I can't think of anything that Ferrothorn can do to, to hurt Hal Halucha too much. Um, so hopefully it goes okay. Uh, the Throat Chop is good for the Gengar. Um, it's good for um, the... Um, maybe actually just the Gengar. Uh, but I, I need something fast like Halucha to be able to take out Gengar, especially if he comes prepared with you know, Thunderbolt or, or something like that. Um, so, uh, I have the throat chop on there specifically for that reason. Acrobatics is a must, uh, close combat, uh, using that to trigger the, uh, the white herb, um, for Vicavolt, I went with Sticky Web because obvious reasons, uh, Thunder Wave in case I need to slow down any of his mons, but with him having a couple ground types on his team, I'm a little worried about trying to Thunder Wave something, wasting a turn, and then just losing Vicavolt to, you know, Garchomp or Rhyperior. Um, I did bring Discharge as well, so there's always the chance that that can happen there. I like Discharge because it has such a high chance of, of Paralysis. I did bring Energy Ball mainly for if he switches into Rhyperior. I might actually be able to outspeed the Rhyperior. Uh, with a Vicavolt, especially if I've already got the Sticky Web up. So uh, then I can potentially uh, Energy Ball the Rhyperior um, and deal some decent damage there. Uh, here on Rapidash, we've got Low Kick. Again, as I mentioned, he has four weaknesses to fighting. Uh, so I just want to be prepared. Um, Low Kick is going to be based upon their weight. Um, so all of his mons that have a fighting type weakness are fairly heavy. He's got Ferrothorn, uh, he's got Rhyperior, obviously both of those very, very heavy. Um, he's got Persian, but Persian's also weak to Fairy, so I didn't really bring low kick for Persian. Uh, I'll have play rough for that. Uh, and then Kangaskhan is actually decently heavy as well, heavier than you might think. So um, overall, I uh, just brought that for those mons try to be prepared there high horsepower uh, he's got three ground weaknesses um, so bringing that high horsepower for Gengar um, again uh, I could just send headbutt as well it just depends um, I've got the uh, you know if I'm worried about the Rhyperior coming then uh, I could potentially do low kick or high horsepower just depending on where we're at in the battle, uh, if I think he's going to switch, uh, th things like that. So have have my options open. Uh, he does have three weaknesses to Psychic, so uh, brought the Zen Headbutt um, Stab, obviously. Uh, good to go against the, the Gengar. Um, again, as mentioned, I'll need something fast to contend with that. Um, let's see. Uh, he also has Toxtricity and Surfetched, uh, which I'll outspeed both of those. So um, Zen Headbutt's gonna be decent there, uh, unless of course he's Scarfed. Um, 
then he could potentially outspeed me with one of those. Uh, play rough. Um, I'm always worried about play rough with the 90 accuracy. Um, I don't know. It's. I know this doesn't affect anything, but we're going to go ahead and heal my Pokemon up. I was doing some battles, so. Um, I know it absolutely doesn't matter for this, but it matters in my head. So, um, Garchomp, uh, the, the fairy weakness. Uh, again, I'm going to have to be fast out speed, so. Um, especially if he gets some dragon dances. Um, the uh, Surfetched and the Persian. I should outspeed both of those, so um, I've got a couple options there. Um, I think he's almost ready, because as we saw, he jumped online. He's Danny Mac. Uh, so we'll try to go through the rest of our Pokemon here pretty quickly. Uh, so for the Crocodile... Uh, we went with Stealth Rock, just in case we want to set it up. Um, not going to go out of our way to do it, but uh, if we get a good opportunity, we'll do it. Rock Tomb. Uh, Rock Tomb let me down in a battle just recently, uh, just uh, with the lack of accuracy, which was unfortunate. It cost me the battle. Um, so I'm hesitant to use it right now, but uh, I brought it just in case I'm anticipating a switch in. He does have uh, one Rock Weakness, uh, but I'm not too worried about that. Uh, I mostly brought it to uh, lower the speed of anything he's switching in. Uh, so I've got the Rock Tomb or the knockoff for switch-ins there, uh, whichever I feel is going to be more appropriate at the time. Um, knockoff is, you know, stab, and it's just straight up good. Um, earthquake, stab, uh, he has, as I mentioned before, three, three ground weaknesses. Uh, this is my Intimidate Crocodile, so um, I use that mainly so that Crocodile can potentially live a move uh, instead of, you know, switching it in to try to just lower my opponent's attack and then switching it back out again. Um, I like to I like to keep Crocodile in as much as I can uh, and just try to let him rack up some damage. Uh, Dubblade. Uh, so we brought Rock Slide uh, just because if I get Dubblade out there, I might anticipate a switch in from Talonflame. Um, I'd love to be able to stop his one fire Pokemon uh, on his team from from catching me off guard. I do have, uh, I think, three fire weaknesses that I'm bringing to this battle. So really want to get rid of that Talon Flame. Uh, Shadow Sneak, priority, obviously good. Uh, stab. Uh, Sacred Sword, he's got those four fighting weaknesses. Um, so that'll be good as well. Shadow Claw, uh, in the event that I have to deal with Gengar with Dublade. I brought Shadow Claw, uh, hoping that I can survive a hit from Gengar and then deal some serious damage with that Shadow Claw. And our last one here is Alolan Sandslash. He's got Aerial Ace, um, just in case I want to uh, increase his speed with Dynamax if I Dynamax him. Um, our opponent only has the one flying weakness, and it's Surfetched, but because Sandslash has a times 4 weakness to... Uh, fighting, we are a little worried about that, so we brought the uh, aerial ace for that as well. Um, and obviously, uh, it is slush rush, so I've got the icicle crash uh, just for the stab, the potential flinch, um, the ability to to make it hail if uh, if I do Dynamax, uh, which will increase my speed as well. Um, if I'm not wanting the hail because I'm worried about my own Pokemon, I can do the aerial ace for speed. Uh, knockoff again, just straight up good, uh, and earthquake uh, for his three ground weaknesses. So overall, uh, looking pretty good. Um, Halucha is new to me uh, this draft, uh, so he's been doing some serious work. So we'll see if we can uh, do some damage here this time as well. Looks like our opponent is ready. So let's go ahead and begin our search. And our number is two three six nine two three six eight. All right, everyone, wish me luck. Uh, hopefully, we have a good battle here. Um, looking forward to it. Uh, I don't actually even know Danny's record. I know my opponent last week was undefeated, and we were able to squeak in a victory there. So that was really exciting. Um, again, just kind of doing this for fun. We're going to try our best, but, uh, you know, we'll let the chips 
um, fall where they where they will. What, however that phrase goes. <laughs> All right. Probably hear my kid in the background being crazy. Don't know where he gets it. Um. All right, Danny is deciding rules. Let's say good luck, have fun. You know, and uh, every time I type that, I mean it. I mean good luck. I mean have fun. Um, good luck is is great because uh, even if it's against me, that means the battle's going to be fun, right? There's going to be some fun twists and turns along the way. Um, having fun is the name of the game. So, uh, good luck, have fun, Danny. Uh, let's both just kind of do our best and see what happens. I'm super nervous about a lot of his mons. Um, he brought basically what I was expecting. So, uh, let's go ahead and go with our initial plan. I'm gonna leave with the Vicavolt. Um, and hope that he leads with his uh, toxicity. That would be fine. I really don't want him to lead with Garchomp. If he leads with Garchomp, he's going to basically get a free Dragon Dance off um, because I'm going to have to switch out. <laughs> um, and uh, anything I switch in is going to be slower than him right out of the gate. Um, I I don't know. If he goes with that, he genuinely might just sweep me. And if that's the case, so be it. Um, but uh, really hoping it isn't. All right. Danny. I don't like the eye thing that people put on. I don't know why. I don't like the... It just looks weird. How is it sitting there? What is it for? It looks silly. I mean, I know what it's from, but it's just... Okay, so we've got a slower Mon here. Um, this is a Mon that he could power up that could be uh, potentially dangerous. Uh, what we're going to do... What's his base speed? 65. So he is going to outspeed me. So we wanted to just make sure we get that sticky web out. Um, the knockoff. Okay, cool. So, knocks off the Focus Sash. We get the Sticky Web out. Maybe he was anticipating a switch. Um, we're going to go for the Discharge in the hopes that he doesn't switch out. Yeah, he's switching. Probably do a ground type, so I'm going to get her. Yeah, the pain. It's Garchomp. Oh, it's not. See, when I, when I heard pain, I thought... Hmm. Oh, so he's going to rapid spin is what he's going to do. So we're going to deal some damage. Not very much. Um, if we're lucky, yep, we get the paralysis. I love that move. Um, now here's the fun. He's going to rapid spin to get rid of that. I'm going to go ahead and just switch out to my ghost type. So rapid spin is going to do nothing. He's going to be forced to switch something else in. Um, that's my. That's what I'm anticipating. Maybe he just goes for ingrain, um, starts trying to deal some serious damage or something. Uh, yep, throws up stealth rocks. Uh, again, we're not too worried about stealth rocks. It doesn't affect most of our team that much. Um, I'm okay with him having stealth rocks up. Now, he is going to deal me some damage here with his iron barbs. Um, I wonder if he's sending in Gengar. Oh, okay, yep. So, um, I should have went with the rocks uh, because I was anticipating um, this. So, what we could do is we could Dynamax now and just go for the fun. Um, but if I... If I use the rock move and Dynamax, I'm going to put up Sandstorm, and if Garchomp is going to get a boost from that, we certainly don't want to do that. So, um, I can pull out here, 
and then whatever I bring in is going to get hurt from the rocks, um, which is not what we want, of course. Um, I think what we're going to do, because he's a physical attacker, I might be able to survive a hit from him, maybe. So we're going to go for a rock slide and see if we can live a hit. If not, ooh, default. Good choice. Good choice. Um, my evasiveness falls, which doesn't matter. The sticky web is gone. Let's get that rock slide in. And we're good. Okay. I was really worried about him. It's a bummer that the sticky webs is gone. I doubt I get a chance to, to put it back up again. Um, but it is what it is. Um, I am excited that uh, we got rid of the Firemon. But we had a number of weaknesses here. So that is most likely Garchomp. Yep. So... Uh, He's got a ground type move maybe he's going to use against me. He might just dragon dance. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to hope beyond hope that he goes for a ground type move. Uh, because if not, then Haluja is just going to die to whatever hit he does. Um, Now, Halucha should have a higher base speed. Um, oh, interesting. So he switched out. He's go. Oh, he decided he wants to go for the knockoff. Um, interesting. So uh, this is actually good. Uh, we've got a, a grass type, or excuse me, a. Um, a flying type move that we can use here. Um, now, I'm worried about him switching into Gengar, which honestly is probably a good play here. Um, if he switches in and I go for the close combat, I don't trigger my item, I waste a turn. Um, if I go for acrobatics, it might deal some damage, but um, this is this is tricky. So do I think he's going to switch? He's been switching a lot lately. He might be fed up with switching. So let's go for the close combat. We'll try to trigger our item um, as long as he doesn't switch to ooh, Brave Bird. Um, that's going to hurt a lot because he's powerful. Yep. Okay. So be it. There goes our Halucha. Um, he's going to take some damage. That's good for us. Um... Let's see. Let me check here. I'm not going to outspeed. I will with Sand Slash, but let's go with. Let's, uh, let's go with Rapidash. Rapidash has a number of useful moves. Um, I'll definitely outspeed. Uh, I might be able to, to take him out in a hit. And if he switches and I get some free damage on something, he doesn't have anything. He doesn't have a dark type except for a little impersion, which he didn't bring. So I'm not worried about him just straight up nullifying the Zen headbutt. Okay, so uh, this is going to hurt uh, quite a bit just because um, he's going to have the iron barbs, most likely. Yep, he's going to have the rocky helmet. Oh, he doesn't have rocky helmet. He has... Now, what did he use last time? We're gonna we're gonna switch out. Okay, he gets the stealth rock up. That's fine. Um, <laughs> he's gonna get all his HP back that 
you know, we got rid of, but that's okay. I want to get the sticky web up again. Maybe he was anticipating me using an electric move. Um, we're going for the sticky web, though. Now, I am going to stay in here. Actually, I might be able to survive uh, coming in on those rocks later. So instead, we're going to go for the crocodile. Um, he's probably a special attacker. That's fine. Um, poison and electric both not going to do hardly anything or nothing to me. So um, get that intimidate going just in case he's an attack, a physical attacker. Shift gears. Okay, so what's that? Speed? Um, okay, you're speeding your attack raises. Cool. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to go for the Earthquake. Let's see, we've gotten rid of Talon Flame. Nothing else is going to hover off the ground. So let's just go for the Earthquake. He might be able to hit and kill me in one hit. Um, depending on what moves he's got on here. Oh, boom burst. Yeah, that's that's rough. Um, good hit. So, boom burst. Uh, he's going to race his own, what, special attack. Let's go with, I don't know if I'm going to outspeed him at this point. So let's just go with a slower Mon. I should be immune to Boom Burst, um, so he can't just keep spamming that. He's going to have to use something else. Um, I'm not much for special defense with this Mon. It is my highest special defensive Dubblade. Um, and he has raised his special attack, so perhaps this was a bad move. But I guess we'll just see. Um, We'll go for the Shadow Claw. Overdrive. Okay, it's Stab, but not enough to kill me. Now, I can't survive another one of those hits. Um, he knows it. Uh, so, what do we do? Well, I guess we just deal as much damage as we can. Go for the Shadow Sneak, try to get a little extra damage in there, and then try to outspeed him with our next mod. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Now, I don't have any priority moves, so now that he's just straight up outspeeding me, uh, and he's a special attacker, I am a little worried about that. Um, I don't really have anything that's going to deal enough damage. Rapidash, probably not going to outspeed him just because he's boosted his speed. Um, in the event that I do, then, you know, we're in luck. Uh, so I want to know. Let's see. 95 accuracy, 90 accuracy. Let's go for the 95. Yeah, he's going first. That boom burst, man killer. Yep, 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 yep. Alright, well. Let's go for this. He's gonna outspeed me. And he's probably gonna kill me in one hit. Um, so, I feel like I am forced to Dynamax at this point. Um, we'll go with the Earthquake. Probably actually should have went with the Hailstorm in case I do kill him, and then uh, I could maybe outspeed the next thing, but oh well. Too little too late. Uh, he's got five Mons left, and we're at two, so this is definitely not boding well for us. Um, pretty much game here. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, we haven't even seen his Garchomp. We may never see his Garchomp. Um, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. 
Oh, smart move, I guess, to uh, try to survive the hit, I guess. Maybe he's just looking to power himself up more. He's gonna outspeed me. Um, he would have outsped me even with the choice uh, scarf. Uh, evidence of that is that he Dynamax first. Um, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, I think Dynamaxing here was the right move in order to try to survive. Uh, my special defense is low. He's going with the stab move. His special attack is raised. So. Um, Really, honestly, surprised that I survived that. Uh, if he switches in Garchomp after this, um, it's basically it's over. Um, I should have went with the Max Hailstorm here to increase my speed. Um, but we we lower the differential a little bit, uh, so that's good. Web is nice. Uh, so we can go with the max airstream. That'll raise our speed. Um, probably not going to matter. <laughs> okay, well, we got lucky. So we raise our speed. Um, not by much. We're still slow. I mean, honestly, at this point, though, um, I'm just getting lucky. Yeah, that's smart, because uh, then you just, you know, hurt me with your stupid item. Um, so I think what we do here is we, s well, I was going to say we switch, because Pickle Bolt's not going to be able to handle Garchomp. Um, I'm planning as if I'd still have to do that. Oh, we're not going to live this. Um, Sand Slash is really needed to kill Garchomp, but with the Stealth Rocks up, we don't really have a choice. Uh, we're, we've lost uh, at this point, so uh, right now we're just kind of feeling lucky that we're in it. Let's go with a... Lowers the target special defense. Uh, yeah, actually, let's go with that. Uh, since we have a special attacker, might as well, right? The gyro ball. Stealth rocks is gonna almost kill me. <laughs> Anything he has that's uh, quick is going to kill me. Honestly, this thing is going to kill me is what it's going to be. Um, but we took out a couple more mons than we were planning on uh, there at the end. So just got lucky with that. All right. Vicka Bolt gets hurt by Stealth Rocks quite a bit. Um, smart play right now is to switch out into something that just like Garchomp that's just going to eat electric attacks um, in case he doesn't I guess I'll just go with Discharge uh, try to get the stab damage it's probably going to kill me it's enough no? okay I'm genuinely surprised <laughs> um, unless we get some lucky um paralyzed actions in here uh, this uh, this mod's gonna kill us uh, again smart thing for him to do uh, in my opinion switch out to Garchomp uh, especially after you saw I used an electric move he's undoubtedly thinking oh he'll do it again which I did um, at this point th yep switch to Garchomp yep eats up the attack 
Um, really wish I was one Pokemon more uh, just to be able to try to deal with this Garchomp, but... Okay. So, what do we have? We have... Dying is what we have. That's all we can do. <laughs> we'll hit Energy Ball. He kills me. Skill shot. Boom. Good game. Good game, Danny. Uh, honestly, uh, really well played. I uh, I got lucky there in the end. So um, if anyone takes a look at Danny's differential in this and says, oh, you know, he could have done better than 3-0, he could have. I just got lucky. So uh, good job, Danny. Um, good luck with the rest of your season, I guess, uh, just next week. And then if you make it to playoffs. Um, and uh, yeah, best of luck. Bye, everyone.